that's the um, hairstyle for Jinx without the strand, of course. We have this invisible model underneath or for the hair, basically just to separate the hair so you can move it around. You can kind of I guess, scale it or whatever you want, but mainly also because then it's easier to set up your um, hair materials. You can also just apply the hair particles to your model. The problem will then be though that the hair particle systems always kind of start at the surface of your model. The problem there is that basically you can sometimes see hair strands sort of floating in midair because sometimes they keep, they have a slight distance between the surface and the um, where the hair strand begins. So what you would usually do is you would du duplicate the head where the hair would emit from and then you would basically shrink it down just a little bit so that all the hair start from within the head basically. 